And we're going to have the length of the mat in front of us here. So bring your feet out. We're going to find good posture first of all. We always start with a bit of good posture. So bring the feet out underneath the hips and just think about standing as tall as you can. As if you've been measured, um, like we were at school. So shoulders kind of tucked down as if you're tucking them into two back pockets. Chest nice and open, relax the arms. And then just draw the tailbone in here. So we've got a bit of a neutral spine posture. Keep the knees soft, especially if you've not long been up. It might be a bit tight in the hamstrings, lower back, regardless of whether we were tight before or not. So we're going to start off with a simple Pilates roll down. So take a breath in here. And then on your exhale, chill into your chest. Keep those knees soft. And we're going to come down here. So imagine yourself to be like a rag doll. So the knees are soft. You might have really quite bent knees here. If you're really tight in these hamstrings, then just allow the knees to bend. Hold it here. And then take a breath in. On your exhale, we're gonna come all the way up. Good, well done. Opening up into that good posture. Take a breath in. Exhale, we come forwards. Good, so just really mobilising into the spine here, and we lift all the way up. Good, well done. Let's just take another one of those. Breath in, exhale. So really exaggerate this roll down, and just allow yourself to hang nice and loose here. Good stuff. Now, from here, we're just going to take a little easy side bend. So just taking the spine through a bit of lateral movement. So try and keep the shoulders stacked here. Don't want to rock the shoulder forwards. We want to keep that nice alignment through the spine. Chin to the chest as we rock down. Just waking up the spine laterally here. Good. So let's take one more here. Hopefully your body is nice and warm if you've just crawled out of bed. Uh, but still, we just want to warm up a little bit. So again, breath in here. Exhale. We come forwards here. And then from here, I want you to make sure your feet are no wider than about hip width. And I want you to put a really good bend in your right knee here. And then take your right hand to the outside of your left leg. Now, however far down you can reach, foot, leg, knee. And then we take the opposite arm up. And we get a little bit of rotation here. Hold it here. Take a breath in. Switch the knees over. Exhale. Good. So it's bringing the arm round to the opposite leg. And using the knee bend to enable you to rotate. If you try and do this with the leg straight, you'll get less rotation, particularly with those muscles being a bit tight. Good, so look up at your fingers to encourage that rotation. Of course, if that makes you feel a bit dizzy, then, uh, then keep your gaze slightly more forwards. Gosh, it's warm this morning, isn't it? God. Good, well done. And then we're going to come down here. And we're going to soften the knees, bring ourselves down to the mat, into tabletop. So here, we're going to take cat-cow stretch. So nice and long through the torso here, pull the tummy in, breath in, lift all the way up here, tuck the tailbone under and chin into the chest, exhale, <sighs> inhale, exhale, <sighs> good, nice and long through the spine, <sighs> good, let's take two more here. Done last one. Good. Now we're going to come back into child's pose. So sit your bottom down onto your heels. Now, again, if you've not long woken up here, ease yourself in. Okay, so just be kind to yourself. Have a little rock around here. I'm quite a fan of this. So a little wriggle around the body. Use your hands to try and tease yourself back a little bit closer to your heels. And we just hold here for a little bit of a stretch. Nice and easy. 
Again, use your exhale to get deeper into that stretch here. And then we're going to come forwards and take these knees a little bit wider. So towards the edges of the mat and then come back here. And again, we have this nice deep child's pose here, but this time opening a little bit more up into the hips. So if you joined me yesterday for the hip mobility session, this is one of the exercises we did. And obviously there's a connection between the hips and the lower back, so it's good to just loosen up. We're going to be doing a lot more focused on the lower back today. Good. Now, from here, we're going to come all the way up here. And we're going to spin round into seated. Now, this is where you might need, should have said this at the beginning, a block, if you have a, a block, a Pilates block, which I appreciate most probably people probably don't at home, or a yoga block, just, just, just a straight cushion will do, okay? Now you might not need this, but this is just to give you a bit more comfort in seating and allow you to get a bit more out of the exercise if you are tight in the hamstrings, which you may well be um, if, if you've got lower back discomfort. So we're going to sit here in this kind of seated position. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> there is a straight line between my shoulders and my hips. Now, if that, if to sit like this is really uncomfortable for you, or your knees are all the way up here, or you're kind of sat like this, then grab yourself your cushion, stuff it under your bum, and what that does is just rotate the pelvis and enable you to sit a little taller. You might need two cushions, it's fine. <laughs> Now again, just be mindful that these knees now might hyperextend. So if you've got another cushion to pop under here, then do so. Okay, so here we are in our seated position. You're gonna lift the arms all the way up here. Take a breath in, now relax the shoulders away from the ears. On the exhale, I want you to imagine you've got a football here. You're gonna dive up and over here and you're gonna reach for beyond your toes. Inhale, lift all the way up, and then exhale, you're going to take what we call a half roll back. Now obviously if you sat on cushions, be careful you don't fall off the back. Now here, you tilt through the pelvis, and we just roll back slightly, we give that lower back a little bit of a release. We come all the way up, sit nice and tall, and then we dive forwards. Good, lift up here, and we come forwards. Good, now this time I want you to come up and straight forwards. Imagine somebody's pulling you through the top of the head here and we come forwards here. Keep hollowing through the tummy, keep curling over your imaginary football. Now somebody's grabbed you around the waist, slightly negative connotation, but it's pulling you around the waist and rolling you back. And again, we come forwards, depend who is grabbing you, I suppose. <laughs> Good, and then come all the way back. Good. So here we start to open up a little bit into the lower back. We start to lengthen into the hamstrings. There's a strong connection between tight hamstrings and lower back pain. Obviously that isn't always the only issue and we need to be careful that we don't underestimate lower back pain, that we have it checked out by a GP if it's something that continues or gets worse. But you know, there's a lot, you know, if it's, if it's just poor mobility and flexibility, then there's a lot we can do ourselves if that's the problem. Good, now let's come all the way up here. Now keep, if you're sitting on cushion, keep sitting on it because this next exercise is gonna be a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna face you now. I'm gonna take these legs out into a V. Now this gets a little bit more uncomfortable for most of us. So you may not have needed a cushion before, but you might need one now for this this seated exercise. Now, from here, we're gonna take the arms out to the side. I want you to keep the wrists in line with the shoulders here. You can press the palms out, but relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Take a breath in. On your exhale, we're gonna to twist to the right. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, twist to the left. So this is just a bit more about mobility of the spine here. Good. Try to keep the elbows, sorry, the wrists in line with the shoulders, so don't be crossing over. Imagine you've got a metal rod running all the way from wrist to wrist here. Good. 
Well done. Good. Now release. Come down into a laying position here. You can use your cushion to put your head on now if you wish. So all the way down on the back. Good. Now from here, I want you to just bring your legs up one at a time. You're going to rest your hands onto your knees. Draw these knees in towards you here. So your feet might fall in towards each other, your knees out to your shoulders. Take a breath in here. Exhale. Draw the shoulders down towards your, sorry, your knees down towards your shoulders. Clearly my brain has not woken up yet. Inhale, release. Exhale. Good. Now from here, I want you to just make circles with your knees. So you're going to circle them in together, into meet, and then out. So really pulling those knees down as you bring them in. Good, well done. Now from here, we're going to do a couple of things using our skipping rope. So you're going to take your skipping rope here and bring the uh, rope around your right leg here, or your dressing gown cord. Now send your left leg away. You're going to hold this leg up here using your rope. Now try not to be all the way up here. Try to relax the shoulders down. Now you're going to have your cord in your left hand, right hand to the floor. Slight soft bend in this knee. Now, keeping the right shoulder down here, we're going to tease this leg across. Now, try not to bring, let the leg come down. You're bringing it across. Now, if you can only get so far, and then you just it stops, then fine, just hold it there. Don't let this right shoulder lift. So we're taking it as far as we comfortably can without lifting the shoulder and, and the leg coming down towards the left leg. Now, you really might feel almost like a sort of the back, back stretching and into the glutes here. Now this is a great exercise if you ever get sciatica. Good, so we just hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds here and then we lift all the way up and then we're going to take the leg over to the other side. Now I'm going to have the wall in my way here but you're going to take your leg out as far as you can without this left leg lifting. So exact, sorry, left hip lifting. So exactly the same movement, the legs coming out and down towards the floor, but this left hip, left shoulder stays down. We open up into the groin and the hip then. So again, holding open for about 10 to 15 seconds. So use your breath always to breath in. On the exhale, relaxing into the stretch. Now, while we're here, we're going to stretch the hamstrings. So bring the left foot in. You're going to hold this here, take a breath in. And then on your exhale, I want you to draw your leg towards you enough that you can feel a stretch into the back of the hamstring. Now, no, I've got slight soft bend in the knee here. I've not locked the knee out. If you are particularly flexible in the hamstring, slide your left leg away here. Good, so holding the stretch. Now we're gonna take this into what we call a developmental stretch. So once the stretch has started to ease here, which it will do, we take a breath in, and then on the exhale, we try to increase the stretch slightly. So just watch as I draw this leg slightly towards me here, deepening the stretch. Now again, I'm gonna feel the stretch in the hamstring intensify slightly but I'm going to allow that muscle to start to adapt to the stretch. So eventually it will start to ease. Good, about anywhere between six to 10 seconds. Take a breath in here and then exhale. We come forwards again, stretching into this hamstring here. Good, well done. And then gently release. Bring this right ankle across the left knee here, hands to the floor, and then just lift the knee up here, opening into the hip. Good, well done. Just hold for that stretch. And we're going to take the same to the other side now. So wrap the band around the left foot, send the right leg, uh, send the right leg away. So we've got the 
the band in the right hand now, left hand to the floor, take a breath in, and then on the exhale, supporting the leg with our cord, we bring this leg across. So again, I've got the wall in the way, but you're going to come down as low as you can. Opening all the way up here into the glute, the lower back. Keeping the shoulder down here. Good. Using the breath. And then we return the leg to the centre, we switch hands and we open out this hip again to the other side. Same again, hold it here for about 10 to 15 seconds. Good stuff. And then we lift all the way through the centre here and we start to take our hamstring stretch here. So again, soft knee. Bring the knee in, bring the right knee in. If you're tight in the hamstrings, if not, allow it to stay away, flat to the floor. Take this leg into a stretch, soft uh, bend in the knee, hold it here. And again, we're gonna wait for this muscle to adapt to the stretch. So hold it here. Take a breath in. And on the exhale, increase it just a small amount. Again, hold it here, take a breath in, exhale, good, hold it here, and then gently we start to release, bring the right foot back up again, cross the left ankle over that right knee, and lift and hold here for a stretch. Good, well done. Good, now from here we're gonna bring these legs all the way down, last couple of stretches here. You're gonna slide the left leg away here. You're gonna lift the right knee up and then we're just gonna draw this right knee across, keeping the right shoulder down on the floor here. So this is gonna give us a bit of a deeper stretch into the glutes. Hold it here. Good, we come all the way back. So releasing all of the muscles that are around the lower back, really gonna help to give you that degree of comfort, that degree of release and mobility in the lower back. Because if it's muscle tightness that's creating the discomfort, then logically, by releasing tension in the muscles, by lengthening and stretching, it will release that tension that, that tends to then continue up into the lower back. Now come all the way back here, we're going to lift the legs up into tabletop here and then I want you to just bring your knees up here towards you, towards your shoulders, flex your feet. Now you may or may not be able to get into this, this is a yoga pose, but if you can this is a great stretch for the lower back and the hips. So you're going to hold on to your feet here and you've got the palms of your feet up towards the ceiling, your shoulders relaxed here. Now we're going to take a simultaneous movement, so relax the shoulders down away from the ears, take a breath in and on your exhale you're going to use your hands to draw your knees down towards your shoulders and then press into your hands with the palm of your feet and you get a very deep stretch into the hips. You can have a little rock from side to side and you get this amazing massage in the lower back. Good, so remember, make a note of any of these that feel good for you. And give them a go yourself. Bend those knees in here and release. Good, we're gonna come all the way up and round here. Round onto the hands and knees. As we finish the last couple of stretches, you're gonna curl the toes underneath and we're gonna send ourselves up here into a downward dog. So again, this is a great stretch for the lower back because we get to lengthen into the backs of the legs. So have a go now at pedaling the heels. Now this is going to reach a little bit more into the lower part of the legs, but it all connects. Now get your head down, right down between your arms here. 
chin down to chest down towards the thighs and then press both the heels down here as you lift the bum up nice and high relax into the shoulders hold it here Good. and then soften the knees here we're going to walk the hands all the way back towards the legs and then here we're going to wrap the arms around the back of the legs here and again you're going to lengthen into the legs keep the knees slightly soft and press your chest down towards your thighs now you're a bit warmer hopefully this stretch should be a little bit easier and you're going to feel this opening as the tension as you feel a stretch into the lower back here so the glutes are going to be stretching, the hamstrings are going to be stretching, hold it here, use the breath. And then release the arms down to the floor, soften the knees, roll all the way back up so you finish off where you started. And little clap. I hope you found those stretches of use, feel a little bit more loose in the lower back. Thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Pilates and yoga bite size. Take care.